So one of the features that's been integrated into ArcGIS since about version 9.2 is the ability to add web map services directly from the web. Um, and where I find this really useful is if I'm starting a new map from scratch, I don't have time to add my traditional base map layers myself, or I'm working in an area where normally I, I just don't have a lot of existing data. Maybe it's a different state, a different county, uh, just generally a region that I'm not going to have a lot of good data on. So one of the things that I can do is starting with a map, I'm, I'm starting with just Bronx census tract population data here, is I can go in version 9.3 to my file menu, and depending on the version of the software that you're using, your options are going to look slightly differently. I can scroll down to the Add Data from the Resource Center. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up my web browser, and in this example I'm actually working within Chrome. So if you're working within Internet Explorer or Firefox, your options are going to look slightly different, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's going to take you to the Esri Maps and Data page. And from here, it's simply a matter of picking a base map that you want to use. So one that I find particularly useful because of the amount of detail available to me is the Streets layer. I can open the Streets layer simply by clicking on the image, which will download it to my download bar. And by clicking on it, it's going to launch the layer and open the actual layer file within ArcGIS. Now when that happens, I'm going to get this warning that's just letting me know that the web map service that I'm using is in geographic coordinates, and since the data I'm using is in a projected coordinate system, this warning is going to pop up. For my purposes, this won't affect the ultimate display of my data. Uh, the, the assumed geographic coordinate system it's using should be fine, so I'm simply going to click Close. Now what you can see it's done is it's drawn a very, very nice base map behind my existing data. And if I zoom in, uh, depending on your zoom extent, the, the, the amount of features evident on the map are going to change accordingly. And one of the things that I might want to do here is just simply apply a nice transparency to my original layer so that I can see the World Street Map layer pop through. And I can do that by right-clicking on my original layer, going to Properties, clicking on the Display tab, and changing transparency to say 50%. And you can experiment with the transparency depending on what you like. Clicking OK, now I can see the World Street Map essentially throw, see, show through my original data set.